Hi guys, welcome back to Hardcastle Homestead. Today we are planting peppers. We are getting them in the ground. They are hardened off and we are ready to go. We've got several varieties. Sorry, had to get onto the toddler. Real life moments. <laughs> no sugar coating at this household. Um, if we're mean to plants, mommy has to have a conversation with us. And we were being mean to the indoor plant. Just use your bicycle, honey. We're almost done. So I've got my sugar rushes planted. And then we've got the Purple Beauty Spells planted. And the Ahi Mango peppers planted. I'm getting the, I'm just going with the Mulatu uh, over here. And we're gonna do a few like batch plantings, uh, protege styled in here with the shishitos and the jalapenos because they don't need as much structure as some of these other guys do. But uh, these are great. They're just T posts in the ground. Once I hammered them in, they're standing about four feet tall, four and a half. I'm five. I'm five two in reference. So <laughs> it's at my shoulders. So four and a half, a little bit short of five feet tall. And then dog fencing that you can get at your local hardware store. And it's perfect for just, this is that last year's tie, but even now you can see it's got some good stretch still to it. <laughs> She's not happy today, guys. We've started to do no naps. Um, so yeah, that's the goal is to get the peppers in the ground this morning. And then this afternoon, we're gonna come back and we're gonna do some direct sowing of seeds. But I thought I'd take you guys along and show you a little bit of interplanting going on because obviously we still have time to get snap peas. I've still got another month or so of growing them. And, but the peppers need to go in the ground. So what do you do? You put in the next succession of plants for your next season and you make it work, which we're gonna make it work. Look how sad that is. Uh, I'm gonna pause it here. Probably you guys are gonna go into a little time lapse, but in between now and that time lapse I'm about to make, I'm gonna go comfort her, get her a snack, make sure she's taken well care of. So I'll be right back, guys. Right, guys so kind of going over what we've been doing in the time lapse I've got um, sugar snap peas growing up this trellis but it really is time to get the peppers out uh, at least for our location so what I'm going through and doing is planting the peppers beside the snap peas and then I've been going through and any that have their little tendrils on them uh, I'm just going through on the baseline and cutting those and they've all connected now to the trellis for the most part uh, If they haven't they're not gonna produce fruit anyway, so I just pull the little guys that bloomed late um, It's not gonna make too much of a difference uh, Toddler tip of the day Trust them They will find their own entertainment Ours is the balance bike with the splash pad while wearing gymnastics leotards. So I'm not complaining. I am loving that. And the best part is she's staying cool while we're out here because it's already about 10 a.m. in the morning. It's already getting close to 80 degrees. We're supposed to get 82 to 84-ish degrees today. Um, but I really need to get these peppers in the ground now that we've got all the bad hail and crazy thunderstorms done. Now is the time to do it because my soil is very enriched from all that rainwater, but I don't have to worry about my baby pepper plants possibly getting destroyed by hail. So without further ado, we're gonna jump back in another time lapse. guys um, so quick note on what I'm doing if you can even see it in the video but here is a shishito pepper it is glorious it shall give me abundance um, 
So if you look really close there in the armpit, you can see a little guy sticking out. And so peppers, just like tomatoes, will put off these like suckers. And as simple as it feels, one of the things I tested out last year was, do you top a pepper or do you let it grow natural? Which one gives you a bigger harvest? I wish I would have done a weight comparison, but I definitely canning wise, my topped peppers outperformed and were better supported than okay, spotting the toddler. Yeah, my um, my topped ones had more peppers on them. I was able to can so much more. That was coming in last year with like, I had to grab storage wicker baskets because I just ran out of storage with my hod baskets. And so I just was carrying in basket upon basket of, I did it with my uh, poblanos. And I was swimming in poblanos. And then I had other poblanos, they just, they still produced, but not as prolific and not as focused energy wise on the fruit. So what I did was you've got one, two set, three set, four set, and then there's doubles up here. And I go past the doubles to where the top is. So this is leaf five and six up here. Right above it, I just, with my fingernail, pinch the top off, and that's gonna encourage new growth out these armpits of the current leaves and it's gonna bush it out, which means you're gonna get more flowers, you're gonna get more fruit, and honestly, the support of the stalk is gonna be stronger. So last year, I think I also did it to my shishitas. I didn't even stake my shishitas. I ran out of supplies and I was on a budget, and I didn't have to stake them. The, the base, the stalk of it, was so well supported, and like, I don't wanna say a word that could get me in trouble. <laughs> Um, thick we'll go with thick but it was strong enough to support itself and I'm topping all my peppers this year because I had such good yields and I love all the varieties I'm specifically growing this year so there's no experimentation with the peppers this year um, I also did peppers in the green stalks last year and the year before as a test run just to see green stock versus raised bed slash in ground and one thing I did notice with the peppers I did in my raised bed, I only sewed them about three to four inches apart because I always heard the little folk um, growing guide of they like to hold hands with their roots. So I always just grow them together. But uh, I'm gonna take you on our very last time lapse as I finish planting our last seven. Yeah, seven. Uh, pepper plants. They're all shishitos. Um, I also do dig them down, not like tomatoes, but I do dig them where a little bit higher up on the root is supported on the ground. Uh, but other than that, I'm just happy you guys are here following along and coming on this journey with me. Uh, I'll see you at the end. Alright guys, um, if you're a mom, you'll get it, and I don't want to ruin her passion for gardening. That's all the chive flowers, because we thought they were pretty. Hey, you say hi? Hi. Yeah. Do you pick pretty flowers? Huh? Yeah. Wow. Oh. Wow. Well, yeah. They're cool. You smell them. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, on that note, uh, I just love getting to do this with you guys. And I hope that for those of you who are watching with me and growing with me and learning with me, uh, you guys are getting something from it too. Uh, just wanted to sign off here and make sure that you guys go outside and get a little dirty. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>